While in a molten state, some aluminium bolts have been cast in moulds. The conditions of the moulds determine the type of grain structure that are formed. Both a steel two-part mould has been utilised and a two-part sand mould to manufacture the bolts. Each variation of manufacturing results in a bolt that has been sectioned, ground, polished and etched with a highly toxic etchant to reveal the grain structure. The grains are visible to the naked eye after etching. The aluminium in the hot mould has cooled very slowly, along with the mould itself also cooling very slowly. This has allowed the grains to form in relaxed, large sized grains. Note that some of the grains look smaller or elongated, and this is because during the sectioning of the bolt to view it internally, some of the 3D grains have been cut nearer to the edge of their surface, so in the 2D plane they can appear small. In the cold mould, the molten aluminium has cooled very quickly and due to fast thermal dissipation, the grains have followed the movement of dissipation and been pulled longitudinally in that direction, appearing to display a horizontal radial effect of grain structure. Much like the grain direction in wood, this means the material is readily fractured along the direction of its grain than in the perpendicular direction. The grains in the sand cast mould are larger than those found in the cold mould and are more uniform in size and shape than the hot mould. The rate of cooling in this mould is more controlled resulting in the uniformity. In the sand mould that contains a nucleating agent, the grains are very small and uniform in size. The nucleating agent acts like a catalyst around which grain structure can form. The size and amount of agent controls the size and number of grains and it is a very controlled way of specifying properties.